It uses FDA approved ingredients and ingredients are clinically proven to regrow, thicken, strengthen your hair. It's gonna create more follicles so that you can have denser hair, thicker hair, fuller hair. So today I'm gonna to talk about the best hair growth serums for 2023. So let me be very specific, okay? I'm talking about serums that are designed, the claim on the serum is for hair growth, okay? I'm not talking about hair growth oils. These are specifically designed to quote unquote help you grow your hair. Now there's different ways to grow your hair. So we're gonna go over these. Some have already been on my list before and I have some new ones to the list, but these are hair growth serums. So these are for my baddies who are are losing their hair, thinning, shedding, breaking, postpartum hair loss, stress, you know what I'm saying, alopecia, areata, you know what I'm saying, bald spots, whatever you may be going through, that's temporary anyway. This is for you. Okay, so there is criteria that I take into consideration when I am not just reviewing a product, but when I pick a product as a best, right? I'm not just gonna pick a best because somebody else said it was a best or because it's trending, right? This got nothing to do with that. I'm only talking about products products that specifically meet the following criteria. So let's start with the criteria and then we're gonna go into the products. So the first criteria is ingredients, right? What the F is a new segment that I, I'm starting on this channel where basically what the F is what's in the formula, right? I know, mind blown. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm gonna trademark that, okay? I am the one, the one you're um, anyway, long story short, what that means is what's in the freaking formula for real, for real, right? Like, are there any active ingredients that actually work? Are these ingredients clinically proven? Are there any studies on the active ingredients? Does the ingredients live up to the claim of the overall product, okay? Then we're gonna look at other things like are the ingredients high quality ingredients? Are they natural ingredients? Um, are they chemical? And I'm gonna make this very clear in every video. Do not believe the hype about all natural and clean. There is no such thing as all natural and clean. It may be clean-ish, it may be natural-ish. It is not all natural and it is not clean. You know what I'm saying? Everything in this world is made up of chemicals and chemical compounds. And as you mix chemicals, even if they're natural chemicals, as you mix them, they form they form completely different compounds. It can change the compound of that chemical. So all that to say there are safer chemicals, there are harsh chemicals, there are toxins, but everything is a chemical and if it's on a shelf, it has a chemical in it. 90% of the time it has a chemical preserved so that's just an FYI, okay? And then some things may be natural, but they're synthetics. You know what I'm saying? So it may not necessarily be a whole food version of a natural ingredient. It may be a synthetic version of a natural ingredient. All the things that you guys need to understand, but I can't explain it in one video. So I'm gonna take the course of all these videos to explain the marketing that's used behind a lot of these, you know, packaging, a lot of these products, you know, some of the wordplay that they use, the semantics, all that fun stuff that they use to get your sh money, okay? Um, and some of y'all just freely give. Y'all freely give and I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. So anything, I already said the quality of the ingredients so quality quality is the second criteria and like I said that's the quality of the ingredients next is formulation just because an ingredient is great doesn't mean that you're just gonna take 20 different ingredients that are amazing and just dump them all in one product that is not chemistry that is not how that works you have to figure out the proper cocktail and the proper concentration of ingredients that will allow for better absorption that would actually have a better half-life in your body bioavailability which means it's going to last longer in your system it all these different nuances that goes into play when you're talking about chemical compounds so you just can't again you just can't get a whole bunch of good ingredients and dump them in a bottle and call them a thing you know what I'm saying because you don't know if one may interact with the other you don't know if one may actually block or inhibit the functionality or the efficacy of one so again you know what I'm saying I'm also looking at the you know the concoction like how are they putting these ingredients ingredients together okay the formulation like I said absorption is another one and I've already explained that is it going to be properly absorbed right are they taking into considerations any inhibitors any things that may stop you from fully absorbing or are they using proteins that are too big that are not going to be able to absorb into your into your scalp right that's why for hair products you see that a lot of manufacturers use peptides instead of just 
straight out proteins because proteins are too big to be absorbed. Peptides has to be absorbed because they're smaller versions of proteins, okay? They're more absorbable. I'm also gonna take into consideration the reviews, right? What are people saying? Because overall, it could be great for greatly formulated. It could be something that was created in a lab, but no one used it and no one has anything good to say about it or someone did use it and it burned a hole through their scalp, right? So we need to know what users are saying about the product. And then of course, price. Now for me, I'll be honest, price is not really a factor. When it comes to me trying to grow my hair and when it comes to healthy hair, I drops. I, I really, you know what I'm saying? I, I drop a bag on some on, on me making sure that my hair is good. You know what I'm saying? Other people will drop a bag on making sure their hair look good. I'm gonna drop a bag on making sure that my hair is healthy. I'm just keeping it a buck, okay? But the bottom line is I'll still let my girls know the price because I got baddies at different levels in their life. Some of them are just starting now. Some of them are still 18 and older. Some of them ain't got it like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Some of us got kids, churn, you know what I'm saying? Picking it them. So, whichever one you got, whichever bucket bracket you fall in, I'm gonna try to look out for everybody. So, that's it. That right there is just the bottom line. That is the bottom line, the criteria, okay? So, sorry it took me 10 minutes just to talk about the criteria, okay? But this is something that I need to set the stage for so you guys can know that ain't no BS over here. Now to the list. Number one is Vega More. This is not in any particular order. This is not in order from best to less best, from greatest to least. This is just in the order that I just, I just, it came to me, okay? So Vega More is already on my list. And yes, while they have a lot of marketing, they dumped a lot of money into marketing. They do have great user reviews. They have great user generated content, USC, yeah. But overall, the thing that makes them, you know, the sustainability of the brand is what's important right they didn't they're not a fly by night they didn't just come here overnight and then now there's it's been a, a few years the girls have been out here for some time these little cute pink bottles by the way okay i'm mad that they got that first but um the thing about vegan more that i actually really like more so is the fact that it has clinical studies to back it up now now i don't know when they launched they had it most brands don't launch with clinical studies or unless they were already you know founded by millionaires and unless they already have you know millions of dollars in in funding which most of these brands do but anyway but they've taken the time to invest and I just want to tell you what the company's clinical trials suggest and suggest and I have to look at my notes is that the product can increase the appearance of hair density by 52% and reduce signs of shedding by up to 76% now that's huge if you're a shedder you know what I'm saying if you're a shedder if you're shedding out here like a cat if you hate wash day you might want to listen up because this might actually be good for you okay um the website you know suggests that you can expect to see fuller looking hair in as little as 90 days best result in 120 days which is realistic right any hair growth product that you're going to use you need at least a minimum of 90 days to see if it's actually going to work for you now please if it's burning your scalp if it's itching if it's causing irritation do not wait 90 days cease use immediately okay girls that were using olaplex even though it was burning your scalp um please 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 if it's burning if it's if you're having a reaction to it listen to your body listen to your scalp it's not it doesn't go well with that product and guess what there's a whole bunch more in the market okay now that is something that i want to highlight but another thing that i want to highlight because i got to give you guys the the good and the bad right <laughs> um the bad is number one and let me see if i can blow this up okay and i'll try to see if i can show you on the screen what i'm looking at but you know there's a little fine tiny print in like white so that no one can read it that says results from a double blind in vivo clinical trial involving 40 subjects 18 to 60 years old over 150 days um and that is for the increase in density by 52 percent and then results and then for the other one decreased shedding by 76 percent results from a double blind in vivo clinical trial involving 20 subjects 21 to 62 in 150 days. Okay, so let me just break that down in English. What that means is for the first study that says that it'll increase your density by up to 52%, they only studied this in 40 people. 40 subjects is just 40 people, but that's not even what really stands out, right? Because what happens to the 41st, 42nd, 43rd, and, and, and keep counting, right? I'm sure millions of people have already used this product, but they only gave you a study based on 40. But the thing that you guys, and then the same for the other study about the reducing your shedding by 76%, that was only 20 people. People. So what happens to the 21st, 22nd, 23rd person, right? But that's not even the thing that really stands out to me that I'm like, man, I mean, it's a study and, you know, kudos to you because it, it is a study nonetheless. 
But the thing here is the in vivo. So there's two different types of study. There's in vivo and there's in vitro studies, okay? So in vivo studies, for the, for the most part in plain English, means that it's not a controlled environment. It means that it's in real life, right? In real time. So these are people who are using Vegamore and using 99 other things at the same time. One thing I know about hair loss, and if you're, uh, if you're dealing with hair loss, thinning, shedding, and whatever else is going on with you right now, you're not trying one thing. You are literally throwing the kitchen sink on your scalp because you're you're hoping that you're gonna throw pots at the wall and one is gonna stick. I know I'm showing my age with these, um, <laughs> with these little colloquialisms. I think I said it right. But I know I'm showing my age, but the bottom line is like, one thing about, you know, when you're going through hair loss, you're doing everything, right? You're trying everything because you want your hair to grow back, right? So these are in vivo studies, meaning that these people were in vitro studies are controlled studies. Those are studies where you say, I'm eliminating everything that you're using. You can only use Vegamore. And now let's see the results. That's not what's happening here. This is an in vivo study, meaning you can use Vegamore along with whatever else you're doing and if they're already doing diet exercise if they're getting shots like the the steroid shots that i love so much on their scalp if they're doing all these other things yeah they're getting results but how do you know with all these different things that they're doing in vivo right in real life how do you know what is actually vegamore and what is the other things that they were doing so that's why it's in fine tiny print is to let you know yeah the people that we have actually did see results but at the same time it's really hard to say it was just vegan more so anyway i just have to put that out there something to consider but what i can say is vegan more in combination or in conjunction with you guys doing or implementing all the strategies that i discuss here on this channel for growing your hair will help you to grow your hair do not think that these are magic bottles okay this is not a genie in a bottle and it's not i'm gonna make your hair grow like that like that okay anyway Nutrafol number two. So this one wasn't out when I did my last video, but here they are, okay? So basically, Nutrafol is, they're saying that they're the first and only, they have a pan patent pending advancement in scalp support. It's the first of its kind, okay? I'm reading what they say on their site. Extremely fast absorbing and lightweight, ha lightweight hair serum formulated with ashwagandha exosomes to boost cell renewal and naturally support visible, thicker, stronger hair in as little as 90 days. It's gonna be nice, it should be 90 days for everyone now if anyone say it's gonna happen before then cap you know i'm they capping all day i hair serum plays nicely with daily nutraceutical blah blah they're basically saying their serum is gonna work really great with their pills okay you don't need one and the other but let me just make this very very simple so i like i told you guys for those of you who don't know shame on you because i've said it in many videos and if this is your first video i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> go watch other videos. The bottom line is, like I said, this is what I does, this is what I do for a living. So I actually attended like a dermatology conference and Nutrafol was there. And of course, my little nosy behind was like, ooh, let me walk on over to their table and see what they talk about. But what I did like, um, what I did like, of course, they did not give away samples, but you know, they gave a whole bunch of scientific stuff and all of that. What I do like is, of course, these, uh, Nutrafol was kind of found it by a whole bunch of doctors that came together with all their doctor money and did all their doctor stuff okay so this is this is def definitely formulated well for hair growth it is effective you guys know that i love the pills i don't hate that they're horse pills and they're four but listen okay i mean you, you, you can't have it all okay but um the serum is basically fully 100 botanical and one thing about doctors is that they don't believe in botanicals like that okay they mostly lean towards active ingredients because they're FDA approved and they usually lean towards things that is regulated by the FDA. Where's the clinical studies? Where's the data? And not on 20 and 40 people, no shade Vegamore, but they want to know, you know, does this really work and is it safe over an extended period of time? So that's why there's always three pivotal trials in new drugs that come out. There should be, okay, but some drugs come out and there's really no pivotal trials, but I'm not going to call the names because I don't want this to be demonetized. But the point is here they're deciding no we're not going to use we're going to use active ingredients but they're going to be all natural they're going to be pretty much phytonutrients they're going to be you know what i'm saying from from naturally derived plants from plants they're going to be natural compounds 
these chemical compounds that are found in the earth and ground okay and so this isn't cheap to do so it's not gonna be a cheap it's not gonna be a cheap product but anyway it's a natural whole plant powered hair serum and they have a patent for this ashwagandha exosome that no one else had the money to get and so they got they grabbed it up first and now they're pan patenting it okay anyway so ashwagandha is a good stress reliever it brings down cortisol um, and it's good for uh, you know it's good for cell renewal and of course it pretty much protects your hair from the havoc that stress and free radicals can cause to your hair it has other things like pea sprouts which is good for visible thickness and for improving breakage so this is good for you if you have um, breakage it also have Irish moss peptides and maca um, which is good for thicker stronger hair it has moringa in it y'all this is gonna hydrate your scalp and hair listen listen I'm not gonna lie it sounds amazing now I unfortunately again do not have any personal experience with it but you look at the ingredients you look at the formulation and all the other criteria that I mentioned this is definitely a go now I don't know why I didn't pull up the price for this one but um I'll try to include it in the video so that I don't take time looking for it because that's gonna slow me down okay again this is a no no possible no particular order the next one is the hair scripts hair growth serum y'all okay don't play with it don't play with it don't play with it okay <laughs> I'm from New York. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm from New York. Okay. Born and raised. Anyway. So yes. Oh my gosh. Why don't I have my bottle here? I'm just going to post a picture. I am so unprepared. <laughs> anyway. Um, yes. I wanted to sit here and let you guys know that finally I launched my own hair growth serum and it is a hair growth serum. Okay. It is not an oil that is going to coat your hair and your strands. It is not going to strengthen your hair. It is not going to fill the cuticle and make it more manageable. It's not going to protect it from over hydration. Those are all great things that a lot of hair growth oils in the market do. They're not hair growth oils. They don't have the claims. They can't make the claims. They do not have the active ingredients, okay, and the chemical compounds to make those claims. <laughs> but we do. And the reason why little old me from Brooklyn, from the P's, not me was able to get access to this is because life happens. God led me in this position, this area, not me. And I have access to chemists. I have access to dermatologists. I have access to hair regenerate, regeneration specialists, okay? And, you know, we all came together and powwowed and boom, voila. Like, here we are. Stop asking my secrets, okay? All you need to know is that my hair, uh, hair growth and scalp health whatever you know i'm still trying to come up with a name for the damn serum okay let me just be honest with you i don't know i don't i don't have a name <laughs> i was so busy working on the serum on the formulation on the ingredients and all the other stuff that i told you that i don't even have a name okay. can y'all believe that can somebody drop a name that's gonna work okay and just so you know because <laughs> i mean I, these are prescription okay so a little bit about my hair growth serum really quickly number one it uses fda approved ingredients and ingredients are clinically proven to regrow thicken strengthen your hair okay it's going to let me just give you some of the stuff it's going to stimulate hair growth basically it's a vasodilator is going to increase blood flow to the scalp to the cells to the um why can't I think follicle? Like, why can't I think of that, right? Basically, it's going to reduce inflammation. It's good for cell turnover. It's going to basically, cell turnover meaning it's going to get shed all the dead cells and all the dead, all the bad cells, all the dead cells and, um, and, and bad skin on your scalp so that it can release and rejuvenate and bring new cells and then proliferate those new cells, right? It's going to create more follicles so that you can have denser hair, thicker hair, fuller hair. It's going to, again, Again, reduce that inflammation so it can stop and slow down the rate of shedding okay so if you're shedding this is exceptionally good for you if you're thinning this is good for you okay like I said it's going to really open up the blood flow to the scalp it is going to do a lot of different things it also targets DHT DHT within itself is a hormone that is derived is a derivative of testosterone that is designed to basically choke the life out of your follicle kill your follicle and this is going to inhibit the effect of DHT is going to basically fight the DHT so that it's not you know causing your hair to thin okay so 
I'm, listen, I'm going to create a whole video on all the details. I'm sorry. I don't want to take up too much time on me, but it's me. <laughs> but anyway, it's me. And long story short, you know, it's, you know, that's the first thing. You know, the, the ingredients, like I said, are FDA approved and clinically proven to thicken, strengthen, grow your hair. Um, you're going to have to see, you're going to have to use it for a minimum of 90 days to see results like everyone else on the market. Um, and it is available by prescription only. You cannot go to Tarjay, to Wally World. You cannot go to any of these places, not even Ulta and Sephora, honey. I love them, but they ain't really checking for me, at least not right now. So, you know, when they do pick me up in the future, y'all, just remind me to delete this video because I don't want no problems in the future. <laughs> But anyway, all jokes aside, you know, you can't find these products. You can't find these ingredients anywhere. This is not, oh, for those of you who are about to wonder, is it minoxidil? No, it's not minoxidil. And no, this is a proprietary blend, a proprietary formulation of ingredients that you cannot find anywhere else, okay? If you want minoxidil, honey, go to, where they sell it at? Where they sell it at? Costco's and BJ's and wherever else to go get minoxidil. This is not that, okay? So all that to say, it's available by prescription only but don't worry when we launch coming soon you go to our website you take a three minute scalp assessment evaluation we help you identify the type of hair loss and a category of hair loss that you may or may not have and the causes associated with your hair loss and then you'll get a custom formulation just for you that is designed by one of our practitioners okay and you'll get a custom treatment plan no you're not getting that anywhere else you're getting it here that's why it's taking me so damn long okay but all that to say not I mean yeah there's other companies out there that are doing the thing but guess what none of them okay is founded okay by a woman of color that takes hair of color and scalp of color into consideration okay skin is not skin just so you know okay our skin and our scalp should be treated specifically okay and our hair specifically is you can't just throw anything on your hair and dry the crap out of it just because you're trying to make your hair grow i'm just saying no shade shade no shade don't play with it anyway so moving along, I said I gotta give y'all the good and the bad news, okay? The bad news is it's still not available. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm talking about it because we're almost there. But what is available right now is this step-by-step -step guide that I created for you guys. Um, it really, what it is, is if you were to lose hair today, like if I was, listen, I lost my hair, I came out and I had to, you know, I did everything to try to figure it out and it took me years. But now knowing what I know, I've isolated the things that are the most important and I put all the top strategies together in this little guide. So bottom line is, if you want that, it's free. I ain't asking for no money. I don't want no dollar. I don't want no dollar. 50 cents i want no 20 dollars for no ebook for none of that foolishness just go ahead click the link or whatever and get the the guide okay also join the wait list so that you can be the first to know when the serum drops okay hopefully in the summer god willing thank you guys for all the support and the positive comments in my last in my first video i don't know when this video is going up but basically when i made the quick announcement that i finally am launching my hair growth serums okay so that is it on that okay let me move on y'all i'm being very selfish and how much time is on this oh my gosh 20 minutes 24 minutes <laughs> oh, and i didn't even get to listen i didn't even get to the other ones how dare i Okay, really quickly. Okay, so the next one is Divi or Divi. D-I-V-I, -I, I don't know how to pronounce it. So here's what I like about it, okay? It, it, it has copper tripeptide in it. Copper is extremely amazing for hair growth. I just want you to know that. It extends the hair growth phase and it promotes thicker hair. Let me explain that. There's three phases to the hair growth cycle. Because I took so long, I cannot go into them in this video. But the key to hair growth is activating the antigen phase, which is the hair growth phase. That is what minoxidil is good for doing. That's what Vivisacal is good for doing. And there are so many other strategies and some natural strategies for activating that phase, getting pregnant, <laughs> wink, um, the, for activating that antigen phase. Just know that um, copper is good for activating that phase as well. Now, the downsides to activating the antigen phase is when you stop doing whatever you did to activate that phase. <laughs> it's 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 you know it's you should because now you're moving on to the next phase you know what i'm saying i mean it's a give or take right but anyway let's go into the next one caffeine is an amazing booster like it's a boosting agent for hair anything that you do you add caffeine to 
it and it's like doing it times 10 okay it just exemplifies it and it has anti-inflammatory properties etc has tea tree oil you guys already know what tea tree oil is good for so i'm not even gonna go into that and amino acids or excuse me because you guys have corrected me several times amino acids <laughs> to help strengthen hair uh fight frizz and prevent breakage okay the ingredients have a ton of stuff in it that i can't go into because i took forever on my products the good thing about this one yeah is that it works it's actually effective it's a 2022 shape award winner meaning it, it received accolades for its effectiveness in the market the bad news about it is that it's only a 30 ml bottle y'all meaning it's tiny okay it's extremely small that means i think it's a one ounce it's a one an ounce bottle and it pro it costs like a down payment on a car or a house no on a house okay so that's it i'm gonna try to include the price because i don't have time so the next one is the ordinary now i'll tell you this now i i had rave reviews about it before now uh, i'm less excited about it just because i've there's so many better things in the market than this one um and they have so there's stuff that has like i said patented ingredients that just have the right concoction the best ingredients but the reason why this one still made the list the ordinary's multi-peptide is because honestly it has peptides it what all it is is, a, is it has several peptides it probably has two of the top peptides in it procapil or procapil and, rend and rendesil okay those are just peptides basically they're proteins smaller smaller molecular structures smaller molecular proteins that is easy absorb easily absorbed by the follicle right and you can't go wrong with having peptides in anything but the thing is peptides are not enough just by themselves right just like caffeine is a boosting agent so if you had something with caffeine and peptides in it I mean chef's kiss not me so the reason why it's on my list number one is because of the price right if you don't have buku money if you ain't got a down payment on you know what i'm saying on a motorboat on a yacht and if you ain't got all this other money to get the other stuff that got stuff that they went to after to the mountains of africa you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying and got the the ingredients this is a good one this is a good starting point but this is but two i brought this one up is because honestly i will use this one in combination with something else i don't think that the ordinary is a is strong enough to stand alone it has the peptides in it which is amazing so what i would do is if you go look at my video where i talk about the best carrier oils i have hidden in that video which maybe i should extract is um a recipe my my recipe for like the best hair growth oil right with it has essential oils and the best carrier oil for optimal hair growth and it has caffeine in it but i would take this um ordinary multi-peptide and i would drop put drops in of this in that oil so in the oil that i make or in the oil that you make whatever the hell whatever i don't care like if you already have your favorite oil you have your favorite thing that you use for hair growth i would buy the ordinary and i would just oh, i would mix it you know why because those peptides are powerful but they're they're great boosting agents and they're gonna just take whatever you have to the next level don't be surprised if you see like if it if it accelerates your growth process so i think that that's why the ordinary made it on here because i think that ultimately um it's affordable i think it's like 15 bucks right and for the peptides alone which most people which is good to have for most hair products and skin products I would just mix it in with whatever your favorite hair growth oil is and voila okay or you can look at my recipe okay here 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 wherever I put the video or maybe I don't put the video anywhere but it's gonna be down below and you can um, do what I just said do okay so I have, I have three more um, okay Pudador scalp serum Pudador you know they're like a cult favorite they're old school they've been here with the hair loss girls before we even grew up for our hair to be falling out Pudador was out when we was still young and we had thriving collagen and thriving hair honey okay and now that we're older but like oh Pudador yeah I don't know if I'm saying it correctly Puda Dior I don't child I don't know but I read through their ingredient list and it has a lot of great things in it it does it has great moisturizers humectants it has great anti antioxidants which you guys know like i love 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 antioxidants they just they're just really good for fighting free radicals which are just complete demolition men that are just destroying everything internally in your body it has you know great anti-inflammatory stuff it has great polysaccharides which is good for improving your texture right so that's good for texture improvement so you're not worried that when it drops from the scalp into your hair that it's drying your scalp and your hair out um so i didn't want to read all the ingredients because i'm trying oh my god I'm already at 31 minutes anyway listen y'all 
Shaw. Okay, this one is a good one and it's on Amazon and I think it's also affordable. So this is a good one. And listen, <laughs> this, if you mix this with the ordinary peptides, child, you're good, okay? You're good. And I think together they're like 30 bucks, okay? Anyway, the next one, um, no, no, I'm not gonna say that one, no. It has good stuff in it though, and it's 20 bucks, but it's a leave-in conditioner. It's not, it's not a serum. It's a serum, but it's a leave-in conditioner. Oh, well, you know what? I'm gonna drop it as a, um, I'm gonna drop it. It's the Shapiro MD Hair Serum. It's a leave-in conditioner. I was kind of torn because it's a leave-in conditioner and I wanted to talk, but I guess they're just trying to fit into two different categories, but it has really great ingredients it does it, it you know basically it inhibits DHT I'm sorry you know I think it also has minoxidil in it you know if you're anti minoxidil then stay away from this one but this one listen I think for the most part the main thing that it has in here that works is the minoxidil and the caffeine I think the caffeine boost the effects of the minoxidil and they use this as a leave-in conditioner now my main concern with this one is that i don't think that this is made for you know natural hair textures and it's not i don't think it's made to moisturize because i didn't see any moisturization <laughs> any moisture moisturizing or emollients uh, let me say that any emollients in this ingredient list. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm just gonna say this is for you guys if you're looking for a minoxidil, but it has caffeine in it, so it's gonna boost the minoxidil up another notch. That's all. And then there's one last one which is a little bit more natural, doesn't have the minoxidil in it, um, and it also has clinical studies. Okay, according uh, so it's better not younger. The Superpower Hair and Scalp Duo, and this has both caffeine and niacinamide active ingredients in it. Okay, um, niacinamide basically is real. It has a host of benefits, which I can't go into, but the main thing is good is for elongating that antigen, that hair growth phase. Remember, I just talked about it a few, a few minutes ago. It's good for elongating it, okay? It keeps it happening a lot longer, okay? Um, so it keeps you in hair growth phase, uh, hair growth mode. Um, a lot longer and then like I said caffeine is a great boosting agent it boosts anything um, like if it if it does something it's gonna boost that to the next level okay um, and this one I like because 97% of women using the serum daily for eight weeks in an independent consumer trial saw improvement in hair quality and hair fall what I like about this is that it was a third-party um, trial it wasn't from the manufacturer or company which means that they you know didn't add their little sauce and their little stuff to it all it means is that they basically you know they got the information and they're using it now because people are saying that they've seen it but again I think that niacinamide and that caffeine I mean is amazing like there's just ingredients that a lot of different products have a little bit of imagine the one product that has all of it in it child I mean anyway that is it okay those are my top for 2023 so far we're still in the beginning of the year so I'll probably do this again at the end of the year why not you guys love it and I'm sorry if your favorites not are not on here this is for hair growth the, these are products that specifically claim to grow your hair and of course I could have named a lot of minoxidil and finasteride products but that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about serums here now if you guys want me to do more about minoxidil and more about finasteride please drop those comments down below let me know I'm so sorry it took me 35 minutes y'all because I just got caught up I got caught up in my feelings talking about my product okay not me all right baddies bye